a bag of feathers. Long ago in a faraway land, there lived a young man, John, who was very rich. He lived in a beautiful mansion in the country, and his land stretched as far as the eye could see. He owned so much gold and silver that their amount couldn't ever be measured. Unfortunately, despite being extremely wealthy, he was an imbecile, and what was worse, he was mean and unkind. One by one he lost all his friends because of his inconsiderate and his miserly ways. Soon he had no friends left, and he realized that he was left all alone. I'm so lonely, he said to himself one day. Where have all my friends gone? A grave voice from deep inside his heart answered. You have driven all your friends away with your rude and selfish ways. Ha! Huh, I don't believe this, said John in surprise. You are lying! Tell me if you remember about your best friend Abraham, demanded the voice, when his wife was severely ill. And he asked you for help. What did you do? Did you help him? Well, no, replied the young man hesitantly. But I can explain. You see, I was rather busy at that time. Then, what about your cousin Tony? The voice continued. He's as poor as a church mouse and often has nothing more to eat than a crust of bread. But when he asked you for a piece of silver so that he could buy food for his starving family, did you give it to him? No. You shouted at him and called him horrid names and even turned him off your lands. Tony is lazy, insisted John stubbornly. He should work harder to get his own money. Okay, but what about Dolly? The voice came again. What did you do to her? She entrusted you with a grave secret about her family and asked you not to tell anyone else. Do you remember what happened next? Yes, said John, now looking ashamed. She refused to marry me because I had laughed at her and had disclosed her secret before other people. She said that she, she couldn't trust me anymore. Oh, perhaps I did behave rather badly, but what can I do about it now? Think long and hard about your wrongdoings, said the voice. I'm sure you will know what to do. Can't you tell me what to do? begged John. I'm afraid that I probably don't have a conscience. Oh, yes, you do, the voice assured him. That is why you are listening to me right now. Are you my conscience? There was no reply. Where did you go? He asked in alarm. Please, please don't leave me. I need you to talk to me. No one else does. They all turn their backs when they see me. Oh, oh, I so badly want to have friends again. I will do anything to win my friends back. But there was just silence. I know what I'll do, thought the young man. I'll go and speak to the wise old man in the next village over the hill. He will tell me what to do. John set off for the next village immediately and approached the wise old man, who was not surprised to see him. John bowed low before the old man and spoke more humbly than he had ever spoken before. Quickly he recited to him, all that the voice had said. The old man kept meditating for a while, and then he spoke. Are you truly sorry for everything you have said, 
and done to hurt the people in this town. John nodded his head earnestly. Yes, I really am. Tell me what I can do to make everything right again. It will not be easy, said the old man. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, yes, quite sure. Then, what you must do, said the old man slowly, is take the biggest sack you can find and fill it with feathers. You will need one feather for every person you have hurt or wronged in your lifetime. Yes, yes, said John eagerly. Then what shall I do? Then, at night, when all in the world are asleep, you must place a feather on the doorstep of every person whom you have ever hurt. I'll do it, said John with determination. I'll do it this very night. So, that night, a lonely figure carrying a big sack over his shoulder trudged through the town, placing a feather on every single doorstep. It took him a very long time, and he was very tired. But at last, just before the sun peeped at the horizon, he had placed the last feather. Happily, he made his way back to the old man. I've done what you told me. Now what must I do? The old man looked at him with great compassion. Now, you must go and pick every feather up. The young man stared at him, aghast. But, but I can't, he cried. The wind would have taken some of them. Others might have been picked up or thrown away. They could be anywhere right now. I can't get them all back again. The old man nodded his head gently. True, you can't, he continued. Just as you can't retrieve the feathers, so can you not retrieve the unkind words you have spoken or the hurt you have caused to other people. You may be truly sorry, and I do believe that you are. Nevertheless, you will have to suffer the consequences of your sin. Go now and show love and kindness to all people even to those who dislike you and refuse to forgive you.